All right, in this week's Growing STEM, we are blasting off into the world of model rocketry. A local middle school has again qualified for the national finals in a rocket challenge. I have to tell you, when I was 14 years old, there was nothing I was interested more than model rockets. Really? I loved them. I absolutely loved them and still do. Betsy Kling takes us to some practice launches as these students' interest in STEM is hitting new heights. The countdown is on. One. The American Rocketry Challenge this Saturday just outside of Washington, D.C. A student team from Immaculate Heart of Mary School in Cuyahoga Falls will compete. So mostly I'm just overseeing how production goes and making little changes, fixing motors and such, and just making sure it runs as smoothly as possible. During competition, the rockets need to reach a selected altitude. For each foot over or under the target is a point. The lowest score wins. But that's not all. It must stay airborne between 43 and 46 seconds. And on board is an egg that should parachute safely to the ground. The only way it can actually count towards scoring is if the egg survives the landing. Students made every part of these rockets. From 3D printed parts to laser cut fins, they are in control of every aspect of the launch. Well, my job is to train them to, to do this. And, and even right now, they're, they're doing everything and they're, they're doing the math and, and it's, it's, it's up to them because when they get to nationals, they, that's what they have, to, they have to do. And they are doing it. We asked them why. Just like the experience of seeing a rocket go up in the air, I mean, that's not an experience you get to see every day. And just seeing that it works and that your creation is getting off the ground and succeeding. Well, I've always had an interest in exploring space and the unknown, and rockets are also just cool in general. The school has made it to nationals five times. Last year, they placed 13th, their best showing so far. The rockets may go sky high. The students' expectations, they're a little more down to earth. Hopefully doing better than we did last time and maybe placing in the top 20 again. I just really want our rockets to fly, don't explode, and go up, come down without any damage. That's my best hope. For Growing STEM, Betsy Kling, 3 News. That looks like so much fun. This year's competition featured a record 922 teams and more than 5,000 students from 45 states. They're not wrong. My daughter did rocketry when we were um, in Atlanta, and it was you were always standing there going, one, please don't explode, and two, please let the parachute deploy. Yeah, because you never that's know. That's all I need. Yeah. yeah. I like that. It's got to be in the air for 43 seconds. Yeah. The egg has to be preserved when it lands. Can't be broken. I can't even preserve an egg in my kitchen. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what I love They're about amazing. it is, you know, this is where young kids get sparked interest in future careers, and who knows, there may be a future NASA employee. There might be. In the group. Pretty yeah. cool. Good luck. Looks like a lot of fun. Yep. Best of luck.